So, this is Friday, Daniel, and I wasn't expecting to be here, but I've just discovered something. I've shown you this thing called Kitty before, and it's called Kitty because the terminal emulator I'm using is called Kitty, which is a place that organizes all my stuff. It tells me what my tasks are, it has timers, but the other really important thing it does, and I'll show you this on another day, is it manages all the files in my downloads folder because I live in my downloads folder. Every time I do anything, it goes into there. Any images that get outputted from my code goes into there. And then I have all sorts of tools that then manage those things. So it'll resize them, it'll scale them, all sorts of stuff. I'm not sure if the post is delivering something to me. Be right back. I caved in. I've probably already said this several times, but I tried to post a video on Tuesday evening each week. And last week, I decided to focus all my time on 80s pop, which means I didn't make a video last week for publishing tonight, Tuesday evening. And I thought I was okay with that, but in the back of my head, I keep going, oh no, I really want to get a video out this Tuesday because people have said sometimes, oh, I really just want to watch the pen plotter doing its thing. I love the sound it makes. So this seems like an easy solution. Doing a plot for about 10 minutes, I think it'll take. I'm using the slider here, which will start off in this position and then slowly move along to here, just to add a little bit of movement to it. I really like having this setup. I use it in quite a few videos, just in really subtle ways that people probably don't notice. So just being able to grab this thing here, and then shove it on the table or I've got a tripod for it is really great. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to set this away. I'm going to keep quiet in the background for about 10 minutes. That's unbelievable for me. And then we should have a video for this evening. So that's basically what I'm doing before getting back to 80s pop. That's today in a nutshell. Well, hi again, it's, um, hold on. It is Wednesday, Daniel, with you today, and I'm speaking to you from this placeholder that as soon as I finish this, it'll go into. I was talking to you the other day about Kitty, and this is Kitty here telling me what to do. I should be working on my week notes now, followed by week notes. But down here is the bit that I'm more concerned about, this move week notes that has all these video files. At the end of each day, I dump all the footage from these cameras down into the downloads folder. I run that command and then that tucks it away into folders called Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Meaning what I'm doing now, I mean on Friday, is much easier because I can just grab all the files, put them on the timeline and then make this thing. However, in two days time on Friday, Friday Daniel will discover that Kitty ate all of Monday's footage and it isn't anywhere to be found. Not quite sure what happened there. I kind of fixed it late in the week, I think, without realizing. And today, today or Wednesday, I had spent, I mean, I spent all day working on 80s pop, so I didn't record anything there. So this is why I'm talking to you on Wednesday, because it's a convenient place to pop you. So let's do that right now and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to Overthinking Thursday, where I worry far too much about my social media, or not enough about my social media. I think that's what's the problem. What I'm thinking about is I release a video every Tuesday evening, UK time, 7.30. And then I have the weekly video, which is of less interest to people, so I'm not worried about promoting it quite so much. It's mainly for you know, us. That happens on Friday. And then also the newsletter goes out on Tuesday. I really worry about tweeting too much, which is ridiculous because when I talk to other people, I tell them that you can't actually tweet too much when people are trying to promote their own project because hardly anybody sees anything that you post anyway. And I've had situations where I'm talking to somebody and they have an exhibition coming up and I've told them to tweet like every day or twice a day. And you still have people saying, oh, I didn't know you had an exhibition because for some reason they've never seen it. And yet I fall into the same trap that I worry I will offend people or upset people if they see two tweets from me mentioning a video. So up until now, I've been releasing my video on Tuesday night and then I go, oh, hey, I've got a new video out and then never mention it again. And apparently 
that's wrong. So what I'm trying to do here is work out when I should schedule out tweets about those things. And like I say, I'm overthinking it. So on the evening that I do it, then I'm thinking tweet about it, Wednesday morning, schedule another tweet about it, and then Thursday afternoon, and then that should be it. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just three tweets about that video. And then the weekly ones tweet about it on Friday. And then again on Monday, I tend not to use social media at the weekends because it's my job and I want to keep my job Monday to Friday. So if I'm not posting at the weekend, then it's a bit of a miss of me to expect people to read it at the weekend. So we all get the weekend off. So week notes videos Friday, and then a reminder again on Monday, just two tweets about that, I think will be enough. I mean, it's not, but it's all I feel comfortable with. And then the newsletter, I post that on Tuesday, so I shall mention the newsletter on Tuesday. The following day, probably Friday, and then the following Tuesday to say, this is not a newsletter day, it is one. So four times about the newsletter. And that already feels like it's too much. I'm feeling bad about how much I'm gonna be tweeting. I think some of that is because really, I generally tweet just like one tweet a day. I say, good morning, what I'm planning to do in my day. That is my daily tweet. So if I'm only tweeting once a day, suddenly having all this other stuff in or posting about my work all the time, I don't know, it just seems slightly wrong to me. I feel like I should be more chatty. So I'm like, hey, 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 how's things going for like 80% of the tweets? so that the 20% of the tweets where I'm being self-promoting don't seem too in your face. But, but I don't know, it's a work in progress. This has just arrived. I know what this is. This is the new Obey Robots album. Let me just open it up, which is from Laura Kidd, who is pen friend, and previously she makes War, and Rat from Ned's Atomic Dustbin. So they're Obey Robots. They've just released an album that's out today, and here it is. The album's called One in a Thousand. Uh, so this has come through, so thank you very much. Laura and Matt, although it's definitely Laura who organised this being sent out. And let's open it up. Now what's fun about this record is it's all completely, all completely independently published and recorded and created Big Sister Records, which is Laura's record label. Put it all together and then have an independent record release, which should go into the top 20 today. By the time this video comes out, uh, the answer to that will be known, but not yet. And I've got this amazing, and I'm gonna put my fingers all over it and get told off for doing it wrong. This orange marbled vinyl, which I'm sure will appear as uh, one of those additional things that I put in my photo shoots to add a scale to what size my prints are. So thank you very much, Laura and Rat, for that. I amazingly have just been listening to it over here on the computer on Bandcamp and Spotify. Anyway, that's enough of that. Right, let's get back to time jumping and then video editing. I will see you in the past. Bye.